Hello YouTube, I had a viewer ask me a question about my cherry trees. And they're over there. Um, the cherry tree, those are uh, natural cherry trees. Uh, Native American cherry trees. And I have produced no cherries with them. And in front of me is the pear tree, and I got no pears this year. Probably because there's a strange absence of bees, which uh, pollinate everything. Uh, I guess her question or his question to me was, when's a good time to plant a cherry tree? And I would say uh, in the late fall is the best time. Um, you want to be able to uh, get into the earth and dig your hole before there's like uh, the, the ground's frozen. And you want uh, a lot of time to pass before uh, it warms up so the, so the roots can sort of uh, learn about its new home. Um, and you don't want to cut any of the branches or the leaves. You don't want to cut or do any pruning until after the leaves have come off the plant. Um, these are uh, two cherry trees I have. They've been in the ground about three years, two years, three years, something like that. So this is my smaller one. It's kind of cute. And I won't do any pruning until all these leaves have come off. And if you don't do pruning, They'll grow and get crazy like this. It's kind of it's going all over the place, it's getting really get wild and crazy. Uh, so you do pruning again, as I say, after the after the uh, fall has come and the leaves fall off, and then you could do some pruning. Um, also, it's a good idea, you know, in dry weather, if if the if the earth the the, the roots get dry, the plant will die. So you have to water these plants from time to time. And over here I have my I'd say early September garden or my mid September garden. Right here I still have still eating my eggplants. Eggplants are coming in right here. Looking good. I got another one. Uh let's see can you see it? Right there. And over here Look at that, got some big pumpkins coming in. I have kind of a mess here uh, from the pumpkins taking over the garden. I have about two or three more pumpkins coming in. Um, my uh, pepper plants are still doing well. And I have a lot of tomatoes coming in right now. A lot of tomatoes. And over here I have a, a radish right here, ready to be picked. Um, and I think I'm getting, uh, strangely enough, my uh, peas are coming back, which are here. Here's my peas. And here's just an example of some of the cornucopia of fine vegetables you can get. I just picked this out of my garden uh, today, and I have some really lovely large tomatoes that are delicious and I have uh, some small cherry tomatoes. Now you could actually freeze these tomatoes in a sandwich bag um, just use any regular sandwich bag and use a straw to suck out the suck out the uh, the air and then freeze them and then to warm them up just put them in some uh, warm water and they'll warm up and you can use them in sauces or anything you want later on and this is all good whole foods without any pesticides or chemicals, which is great not to poison yourself on a regular basis. All right, thanks for watching my garden. Yummy.